Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. I'm currently working on my experimental horror film, SIG, It's All About Choice. And I'm shooting it on Single 8, as you can see with this camera here, the Fujika ZC1000 Single 8 and also on Super 8. Alright, so I'm going to show you a few things and let's get started on that. Sunlight. And a little clouds and that could change any moment okay so where I'm filming some moments in just a second it's sunny the next moment you have this it's always the way it is keep in mind that the camera that you use are just like tools it's going to depend what type of scene that you're going to be capturing for that day I prefer mostly the Fujika single 8 ZC1000 as it has many features as well as right upon there or secondly if not first as well the Fujika Single 8 Z800 it'll keep me on the go and I can travel with it I really wouldn't want to travel too much and commute with the um, ZC1000 it's really an on-set camera if I'm going to an area to where I don't want to lose anything, maybe a kind of a rough area, so to speak, then I'll take the Canon 310 XL. So if something happens to the camera, I'm really not losing too much. I'll pull out the uh, cartridge, and if the camera gets damaged, then okay. I don't want that to happen, but that's just the way it is. All right? Now, everyone needs a backup camera. It's always wise. It doesn't mean the camera has to be anything less. So, that's why I use the Fujika Single 8 Z2. And as you can see, it's got a part missing up there. It's just a cover, and I've got to get that covered up for um, just cosmetic purposes and to protect that, you know, the insides right there. But this is a great camera to use. Uh, just for me for backup and um, I've got a ding on the side of the lens right there but it still does operate and it does very very well and uh, let me show you a feature with that but before that I do I want to let you know that I also prefer to use my Siconic exposure meter to even though some of my cameras have auto exposure I like to go ahead and double check it and see where the exposure is with my meter if you have a Canon like with a 310 XL you don't have that luxury and that's another reason I also like to use the uh, Siconic handheld meter now with this Fujika Single 8 Z2 I really like the easy focus right here okay so if I hand this to someone to say hey will you film this or if I'm filming it myself or my family members all you have to do is one of the fingers of the thumb just roll it back and forth like that easy to focus in and out and that's the beauty of this camera that's why I like it as a backup camera and here I just got to cover this up with some type of leatherette on top of sheet metal on top of hard plastic and I'm good to go so just because the camera may be a, sli a slightly bit of cosmetically off doesn't mean it's a bad camera. So again, you're going to get into um, low budget filmmaking, and especially if you're doing it with a single 8, you need a little bit of an arsenal. And uh, this is mine. You will have yours. Um, single 8 is one of the most expensive to get into. It's more expensive than Super 8 as well as the processing goes as well okay and uh, thus just to let you know a little bit about that and uh, but the um, to those of you who don't know for the single 8 film and the cartridges you can switch out the uh, film from the super 8 into the single 8 cartridges that's a good thing right there okay and uh, that's just about it Contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe. Until next time, see ya.